Okay, kids, this is gonna be a fun one. I get to play a game I like, but also I get to hate it because the designers were diamond heart dicks about it. I've been playing Shadow Warrior since I was way too young to be playing Shadow Warrior. It's one of those old FPS games where you run fast, hit hard, and if it moves, kill it as fast as possible. Because while your enemies are a little stupid, homing missiles are foolproof. You start your game up right, but I'm awesome, so obviously we're putting this on the highest skill. And in all honesty, I've never even played most of this game on this skill. Usually I go for Who Wants Wang because I'm 12. Who wants some Wang? No, but seriously, it's not like in Doom where the monsters respawn every 30 seconds on Nightmare. Coincidentally, I bind the med kit in my inventory to one of my mouse buttons because this game can be a little bit punishing. Ah, better than acupuncture. But like all these old games, they can be conquered if you're willing to be a badass ninja like Lo Wang. That's a thing everyone should want. How badass? Well, in Lo Wang's dojo where you start the game, if you toss a shuriken at the gong behind the door, a secret opens, revealing that Lo Wang keeps a nuclear warhead in there. You know, in case he needs it. Lo Wang, a man with a Chinese name, lives in Japan and works for Arachizilla. And I think he lives in Japan. The first level is called Seppuku Station. Hi, Randy Pitchford! I'm blaming you for all the dickish parts. So I kinda have to talk about the racial humor in this game, where Lo Wang says things with an accent that... Row, row, row your boat gently down to the stream! Oh, I think my dinghy hanging out! Most of them don't make me cringe anymore, but that one still gets me. If you're offended by this, turn his speech off, because this game still kicks ass, and I can, with all honesty, say that this dumb 90s shooter had no effect on my views of Asian culture, because anyone who would take any of this seriously needs to reevaluate themselves as people. The developers at no point were trying to make an accurate representation of anything, and were purposefully going over the top in an homage to cheesy martial arts movies they'd seen. Instead of cheesy horror movies they'd seen, cheesy action movies they'd seen, more cheesy horror movies they'd seen. But, you know, you can always make the character young and into comic books, because pandering. Nah, kids, I don't hate those Shadow Warrior reboot games, but that always bugged me. Anyway, let's slice two motherfuckers up with a sword, which is how this game opens. Zilla sends his regards for <laughs> You no mess with Lo Wang. So Lo Wang worked for Arachi Zilla, and Zilla wanted to take over the world, so Lo Wang, not really wanting that to happen because it really tanks the market for assassins when everyone's dead, well, he quits, and Zilla sends two weak-ass zombie ninjas to try and kill him. Yeah, not happening. But don't forget the 50 more ninjas, suicide bombers, ghosts, and killer fish. This secret right here with the grenade launcher, what you really want to do is pop off a grenade or two into the window across the room, so you can kill these guys and then go in there to get a second Uzi. Be proud, Mr. Wu. I know what you're saying. All you have in this first level as far as weapons go is a sword, your fists, shurikens, a grenade launcher, and two Uzis. That just won't do. So you go to this secret and get the riot gun, a four-barreled shotgun that... Oh, boy, it's just beautiful. And a missile launcher, probably the most important weapon to have. Kiss your ass goodbye without it. Yeah, see, these things, coolies, which, yeah, I know is a racist term for miners from, like, the 1800s or some shit, but they're actually zombies that suicide bomb you, and when they're done, their fucking spirit leaves their body and tries to kill you. Unless you turn them into chibs first. I've played this a few times, and I know that there's kind of an end-level boss here. A mini-boss. The deadliest enemy in the game. The Shadow Ninja. See, your brown pants ninjas are barely a threat. Your red pants ninjas fire rockets at you, gray pants will shoot grenades, orange will shoot homing missiles, and you don't think you can get worse than homing missiles until... This motherfucker one hits you no matter what. Oh, he's got fire bombs, he's got flash bombs, he's got whatever the fuck this is. And while the flash bombs don't kill you, they'll blind you and you might as well load your save there because you're already dead. They are the worst, and I know one's coming up in this subway, so let's nuke the bastard. Stand by. Three, two, one. All systems ready. Warning. Just like Hiroshima. Okay, that is in pretty bad taste. Oh, God damn it! Oh, you grid, you motherfucker! You get stuck between a mounted machine gun that takes at least three rockets to break, but then the game spawns a shadow ninja behind you, and unless you know he's gonna be there, oh, 
and I'm out of explosive weapons from having to take down all these guys, and I'm not actually tough enough to melee them because that would be instant death. You know what? I feel like my honor's at stake. I... I have auto-aim on, and it wouldn't feel right to keep it on. A ninja doesn't use auto-aim, even if the game was designed for it. It's fun because the way death works in this game, you press any key to restart the level, and I die so quickly and unexpectedly sometimes that I don't even see it. Zilla Construction lets you know you're in for a bad time. There's ninjas everywhere, there's red ninjas shooting missiles, there's coolies everywhere, there's shadow ninjas, just so many shadow ninjas. There's fights in this game that require a certain level of precision, you know, some finesse. I like nuclear weapons. That works too. You need to be behind a wall or something. You won't survive a nuke blast if you stick around to see it. You just won't. You get to meet the Rippers here, too. They're terrible. They make ugly noises when I shoot them and they take a lot of punishment. But hatred of them drives me to test myself by beating them into chunks of different creatures. I must seek out the Master Leap's advice. Lo Wang's master, Master Leap, lives here, and Lo Wang needs to talk to him about plot stuff, but first we have to massacre like a hundred ninjas, including our old pal Shadow Ninja in like the third room, the fucker. There's a secret in the ceiling here where you find this chick pooping, and I'd like to point out here what happens when Lo Wang tries to proposition a woman in this game. Hey, baby, pull my finger. <laughs> you jerk. Yeah, put away your outrage, because I don't think this game is rewarding that kind of behavior. Anyway, because this is a build engine game, we need to explode fucking everything all the time. And I tell you, there's nothing quite like exploding everything in the build engine. I don't know what it is exactly, but the way the walls blow out, the way the screen shakes, the way the sound of the explosions rumbles everywhere, they're so satisfying across the board in these games. Shadow Warrior's no slouch, I mean, you probably blow up half this level. Nope. Just like Nagasaki. So I jump off a cliff after this rabbit because you land in water so I don't take damage. Because it's a secret. It's a fun one too, I really like it. You find Jackie Chan's coffin. Ancient Chinese secret. <laughs> Welcome to real life, Mr. Chan. I got no problem with Jackie Chan, man. It's just, don't, don't even get me started on the fucking fortune cookies. But aside from that part, you have to jump around this volcanic mountain and... Oh, the bees. Oh, I hate the bees. What, what is that? What is that? Katie, what don't you that? dare! Don't you dare! I swear to God! Stop! If I had auto aim on, they'd be less of a problem, but fuck it, let's punch them out of the air! It is good day to die. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna find around this corner, you know, besides a cluster of ninjas, but I'd like to be safe. Three, two, one. All systems ready. Oh look, two shadow ninjas. How about no? <laughs> like Chinese New Year fireworks. <laughs> Master Leap, what have they done? <laughs> Your training is complete, Lo Wang. Avenge my death. So here's what we know about Master Leap in this game. It was the 90s, kids. We're still a year out from Half-Life, so we barely have a story. Be thankful for what you have, because the designers were more focused on making a game people enjoyed playing. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck! Must... More rippers, and I'm sick of wasting ammo on them. So let's just deal with this the old-fashioned way, like my ancestors did, punching them into jibs. <laughs> you gotta understand, when you play this game right, you feel like a badass ninja. Nope, 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 cannot punch! Dark Woods of the Serpent, which you may remember a little bit from that time I was playing it in the Aliens Colonial Marines video, but here? Oh, this one's a bloodbath. There's only a million ninjas in this dojo that's located down a fire-trapped ramp underneath a volcanic mountain. Man, I don't even know you, but I'm gonna avenge the shit out of you. Ah, oh, the dark woods of the serpent. Get your explosives ready, and then get your quick save button ready. Turning auto aim off was a mistake. The woods themselves are full of rippers and bees and coolies, and I don't have a nuke at the moment, so I'm just gonna shoot grenades down there. I'm still a little shocked by the number of monsters.
Now we're getting brutal. Once you've made your way into the village, you better be a master ninja by this point or just uninstall the game because you ain't going any further. <laughs> You need to find a repair kit in this level so you can fix this tank, which is something Lo Wang knows how to do. As soon as you do, get ready to experience the clunkiness of some of the first, if not the first, vehicle combat in a first-person shooter. It's weird, I mean, you kinda have tank controls because, well, it's a tank, but word got out that the unstoppable badass Shogun assassin got a tank, and everybody wants a piece. See this little hut? You can't see the ninjas in there. They have rocket launchers, but I know they're in there because something in there is bleeding. Now, oh, now we get into, uh... Okay, this area is called Ripper Valley. There's a very good reason for that. So here's my strategy. Stand by. Three, two, one. All systems ready. It is good day to die. Warning. Oh, hey, you make mistake there. Yeah. Because launching a small nuclear device and barely missing the blast zone? This is why I love games like this. Because any shooter nowadays can have you sit at a gun and mow down 10,000 Nazis or brown people or commies or whatever, but you're never gonna play Call of Duty and say, oh yeah, I nuked a whole valley full of evil ninjas and demonic gorillas, and then came back, saw that some stuff wasn't dead, jumped around them, picked up another nuke, and make the fuckers regret not laying down for the last nuclear strike. Dying at times here. Now comes the magic carpet ride. Oh, fuck me fucking sideways, which incidentally is what this section does. Look at all these ninjas. This has got to be like twice as many ninjas as they have on the hard mode. Here's another death that happened so fast that my ninja reflexes put me right into the start of the level. I think it was the explody zombie, but it could have been the five ninjas shooting me. Look, there's four giant mama rippers down there. I'm used to two, that's... That's okay. All my grenades are gone. I'm down to one giant ripper, so you know what? I must preserve my honor. <laughs> Boss time, kids. We're done with the shareware episode, which is only four levels, but don't let that fool you. This snake can be deadly. But Master Ninja that I am, I survived this fight just fine. He runs away when he realizes that I'm not here to breach a door and neutralize the enemy comm systems. I'm here to throw down. Oh, like I scared of a little snake? <laughs> Luck is with you, Lowell. Hey! Come back here and finish, Mike! Ogre is scary, snake shit face. And that's the first episode, kids. And if that looked hard, it's nothing compared to the full game. If you guys want to play this, the DOS version is free on Steam, so... Ordering game is only way to keep honor.